How long is your tongue? I bet it isn't bigger than your head. Maybe you like long tongues for one reason or another, but have you ever wondered if there's a disadvantage? Well, it could be that you're a type of demon. In Balinese mythology and incorporated into the local Agma Hindu religion, long tongues are synonymous with dynamic entities. Take this example. The long protruding tongued sculpture is called a demon called Elayak. It's a flying head with its gut still attached, set to fly looking for pregnant women in order to suck her baby's blood or find a newborn. In daylight, they appear just like ordinary humans, but at night, their heads and entrails break loose from their body and fly. Laics can't leave Bali. Probably they've got the same thought your hoverboards had in Back to the Future Part 2, and they can't cross water. This statue is of Ranga, queen of the Laic. She's capable of powerful black magic, and even demons are her followers. Laics haunt graveyards, feed on corpses, fly, and can change into animals. They also have cannibalistic tendencies, which you'd expect from a baby-eating, fetus blood-sucking, flying cranium. Well, if you're worried about Laics and demons, I suggest you go for a run to the gym, because the best way to defeat a demon is by exercising a lot. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. And remember to like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel to see my future videos.